good morning. Actually, yes, it is still good morning here in Dubai. I, um, I am preparing uh, very diligently for my third Dr. Joe Dispenza meditation retreat that starts tomorrow. I did my first one in Toronto 18 months ago. I did my next one in Mallorca about six months ago. And now I'm doing my third one right here in Dubai. Lucky me that he's here and I got in. And uh, it's always important to be putting in the work, the practice, getting the synapses to be working in the right way, making the right connections, putting in the right intentions. And I've been doing a lot of research around going into this seven day meditation retreat. In the retreat, we meditate between six to eight hours a day, and he lectures in between the meditation sort of uh, sessions. He's by far my favorite teacher that we have right now in modern times. But one of the key things that I got out of research recently is that the very, very essence of us understanding science is changing. And this is, this is just so huge for us to want to kind of like take on board. Because Newtonian science for the last century or so has kind of set the tone for how we interact with reality. And Newtonian science, in a very quick summary, makes reality objective. It is something we view, it is something that is separate to us, and it's something that we have for many, many, many decades have understood as the rule. But with Dr. Joe Dispenza's work and many other quantum physicists and quantum scientists, they're starting to prove to us without a shadow of a doubt that reality is subjective. It is us, the observer, the changes, the observed. It is us, the dreamer of the dream that's creating the dream. And this is often very difficult for people to take on board because they say, well, there's so much corruption, there's so much stealing, there's so much death, there's so much etc., etc. going on around the world. And my answer to that always is, there isn't in my world. There is maybe in your world and there is in the world, but you choose what you want to focus on and you choose what you want to grow. And we often play out this constant need to be anxious about something so we'll find whatever it is that makes us more anxious. And if you understand the theory of quantum science, you realize that the more of us buy into the concept that reality is subjective, the more of us on a mass consciousness level can change the reality that we live in. I was on a radio interview the other day and I was in between two segments about Eskom <laughs> and the problems that were going on in South Africa around corruption. It was a very unfortunate position I was in because first was the corruption, then it was me and then it was corruption again. And the lady and the DJ that was interviewing me was kind of perturbed with me saying, look, if we on a mass level focus on things becoming better rather than focusing on things becoming worse all the time, we in our responsibility and our power create what it is that we want rather than being stuck than what it was. So please do the research around Newtonian science and quantum science and look for yourself how incredibly different they are and I will be making some more videos from the Joe Dispenza meditation retreat. And if you don't know who Joe Dispenza is, wow, you are in for a treat. Because if you look him up and look up some interviews, he will blow your mind. So remember, reality is not objective, not even for one second. It's 100% subjective. The observer changes what is being observed. Ciao.